It feels so surreal. We are out. I'm going for my facial as well as my eyelash extensions appointments which means you take a rest so that you can walk further. Good morning. I decided to change into my workout gear today because I didn't work out yesterday and today is gonna be a workout day. So try to cycle myself. And don't ask me why my hair is like that, okay? I have no answers for you. I was just sick of that normal like hairstyle that I usually do. I'm trying to cover my simple pigmentation over here. Actually, I do quite like putting my hair up like this because it gives me less of a headache. I feel like because the hair is split up into two, it just has less weight in each rubber band. Yeah, I feel a lot more comfortable. It feels so surreal! We are out! Well, it's a Saturday and I thought I wanted to go and grab some coffee. So, I've been looking it up on this place called a Lucid Place on Instagram for a long time. Fingers crossed that it's not going to be crowded today because a lot of restaurants and cafes have limited their seating capacity to like, I think less than half of like their usual. So, a lot of them cannot accommodate walk-ins. Fingers crossed! coffee from a nice place. Okay, honestly, I've never tried this place before, but I'm sure it's very nice. Huh? I like my coffee. <laughs> it's nice too, but it's different. It's just very different. Yeah, my eyes white too. So Matt doesn't drink coffee. He didn't order anything. Ordered another bread. It's raining and it's really crowded. Tonight, we are heading to Matt's grandmother's place for a birthday dinner because just nice, today is her birthday and we are now allowed to visit people's homes to have dinner together, which is great. Well, someone just want to cut his hair. You like it? Love it. He actually uses Jay as well. I introduced him to Jay. I mean, how, how long have you been cutting with him? Five years, I think. Five years? Like, I haven't even been cutting him for five years. You cut him for five years. When we... Well, in SMU, somewhere. right, when they were at Boogies, I was cutting people in there. Huh? You cut him since Boogies? Yes. Really? Yeah. I don't think I've been cutting him for five years. Really? Five years, eh? How do you solve something that we can never find the answer to? We can find the answer. No, I think your first time was with Ma. No, 100%. I'm very sure. No, I'm, I'm, a, I'm very sure. I'm a, I'll, I'll bet you $100,000. $100,000? You're not going to give me the money even if I'm right. But you will give me the money because I'm right. No. <laughs> I know because I move. I. I. I... You, um, you had. You. You. You could. Let's ask him that. The <laughs> first time I ever cut him was it with Smile or Boogies? Confirm. Confirm. Okay, you text confirm. him. Confirm. So lame. Why are you record this kind of thing? <laughs> So that I have proof that I can redeem my $100,000 if I win. This is proof, huh? Yes, this is proof. It's showdown. Two thousand years later. Take the train down from my what to boogies to cut my hair. Morning! Sarah is coming over today and I'm so excited. <laughs> He lost weight. Yeah, he lost weight. Ash, someone says you're skinny. Meow. <laughs> yeah. oh my god, the chige and topoki. Yeah. Gonna curl her hair now using the Dyson Corel. What hairstyle do you want? You like Kim Goon, right? Yeah. You like Zhong Teru, right? Yeah. Don't you guys think she looks like her? No. Yes, I think she looks like her. She's the biggest fan, right? Ajoshi? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you hiding there? <laughs> This kind of thing will only happen to me, <laughs> not you. <laughs> That's true. It's more like class music. Yeah. <laughs> class modern stuff. Yeah. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Yeah. It's so shiny. Oh, hey, it's reunite. <laughs> you reunite. They all want to say that. 
<laughs> okay, but today we are filming in the studio. First time ever in three months. Oh, kind of miss this place. And it's kind of raining today. It's been raining the past few days, so it feels a little bit more melodramatic. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna be filming me transforming into a TikTok girl today. Is their idea? I don't know what to expect, but I'll see. The main trends that I focus a lot is the foxy eye trend, so. <laughs> what am I doing? How do you feel, Mom? It's actually quite tiring being in here because I'm very inflexible. Look at this table full of snacks. And we finally got our union and also my taping. I'm so happy. So Benefit just launched a new California color kissing lip balm. I've got a full set over here and I really like it. It is what I'm wearing today. I just put on a tiny little bit. It's uh, 99 Poppy. It's kind of like a really pigmented lip balm. Well, that was that. I have another event happening tonight and today is quite a busy day and I'm feeling a little bit stressed because of the amount of work that I have. Undone and you know, being at home is just not the most productive. Ciaoba. This is the Starbucks Nescafe Dolce Gasto Cold Brew. Um, I find it really refreshing but I feel like one cup is always not enough for me so I always go for two cups at a go which isn't the best but I feel much more calm now. I guess it's just the lack of coffee. So I just spent the past four hours editing the June vlog that you guys are gonna be seeing before this and my eyes are really tired. <laughs> right now I'm just waiting on another Zoom event. This time it's Charlotte Tilbury and I've got my Charlotte Tilbury things over here. Quite excited for this one because they are launching some new products. Mainly the airbrush bronzer. Dun, 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 dun. I'm gonna stick to you guys in a bit. I realized my eyelashes were sticking out. Stick, stick, stick. day today because I'm going for my facial as well as my eyelash extensions, appointments. <sighs> I've been thinking about this day for the past three months. It's gonna happen today. Ready to go. I'm bringing you guys with me today. lashes on! So this is the Kiki set that I usually do at Kirami. It's single strand, strand by strand and you guys, I love it so much. It looks like the falsies that I usually wear, very wispy. Just makes my eyes very like separated and sexy. Guess who? I'm part opposite. <laughs> Hello, That's Wendy's car! Well, I haven't seen her in three months. Um, at least now I see her car, I guess that's akin to seeing her. Anyway, I'm kinda late for my appointment so I'm just gonna run but it's been raining the past weeks and it's really such a downer because I parked in an open air car park so now I need to carry an umbrella and I can't get my camera wet. I'll see you guys at the clinic. dinner, I actually ordered Streets Chinese which is a Nonya cuisine restaurant. I've never tried it before but look at this. 
It's blue rice. I love, 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 love the color. And I really love this particular dessert. I don't know what is it called, but it has the green thing on top and blue rice at the bottom. All the nonya kueh. And also we have some, I think this is chendol. Let's take it. Morning. So yesterday, I had my first PT session with Andrea. She came to my condo to train me for the first time. And I know even though the gym is now open, but a higher place gym is now relocating. So my gym is not open yet. That's why she's coming to my house for the time being. And I am aching so badly. It was not easy and like, I feel like that kind of concludes my circuit breaker. Like now my life is kind of back in full swing, which allowed me to reflect a little bit about you know, my time alone with my family and what I learned. So I hope you guys are having a good start to phase two and well settled in. I would say the entire transition for me was quite tough. I struggled quite a bit because I was very productive at the start of circuit breaker because you know, we were all very new and excited. I had a lot of ideas of what the things I wanted to film, what the things I wanted to do and you know, I wanted to try to stick to a routine as much as I could. But unfortunately, I would say like about one month in, like like towards the second month, I really started to just be a little bit more sluggish and I just allowed myself to take a break. Although I kind of did beat myself quite a lot over it because if you guys know me personally, you will know that I'm someone that doesn't like to feel unproductive. It's not a healthy mindset and I know that I do need to take breaks sometimes and there's this thing that someone told me um, I believe it was one of you guys who told me this it says Susie is to the loop which means you take a rest so that you can walk further in life and I think that is exactly the thing that I needed to hear so thank you sometimes you guys are like the harshest with me but you guys also tell me the things that I want to hear so yeah I just feel really thankful and after three months of being at home I am glad that life is kind of back to somewhat normal and it's a new normal but I feel like it's time to just get back to pace and throughout these three months I really learned a little bit more about myself it was a lot of self-discovery a lot of trying of new things I picked up yoga I went back to home workouts again I started reading up more about skincare ingredients I experimented more with different looks and makeup trends dabbled into TikTok did more vlogs Still haven't cooked but uh, I tried. <laughs> Spent more time with Matt and every day felt like a weekend, like a working day weekend and I would say I really enjoy every single minute of it just chatting with you guys. Um, I spent a lot a lot more time talking to you guys during Circuit Breaker as well and that is something that I will forever forever be grateful for to be given this opportunity because it's a hard reset that the whole world was set into and everyone was facing the same thing and everyone still is facing the same thing, same situation right now. Um, no matter where you are in the world so for those of you who are going through a tough time be it living with your family struggling with yourself be it where your life is at right now things may look bleak but it will get better I always remind myself that whenever you're already at your lowest the only way to go is up so ciao everybody I'm sorry I ramble on so much I'm gonna go shower now and get by my day I will see you guys in my next vlog bye love you